trying something a little experimental here in terms of screen resolution stuff with my webcam and all of that, just to seeing how well this handles higher resolutions. Particularly with kind of blowing up this video, my, my camera's resolution to higher stuff and seeing how that goes. We'll try some more of this with gameplay resolution, with video game stuff later uh, for my upcoming Let's Play. But in the meantime, for a more dedicated thing, um, since I'm running behind schedule on my next big planned video, which is for the um, next installment of Anime Appendix N, um, I do have one thing I want to get off my chest right now. I want to talk about for a little bit. So, this whole Pokemon nonsense garbage thing. When this started with the Pokemon speculators buying up all the Pokemon cards and having massive lines at McDonald's to get the Pokemon card value meals and all that sort of stuff, I was like, I don't play Pokemon, um, and near as I can tell, this level of speculation wasn't hitting the game stores, necessarily. Um, so, at the time, I was ambivalent. I, like, speculation over Pokemon cards, like, we've had plenty of speculator booms and busts and so forth, over plenty of other things in the past. Um... I have family members who have worked at Toys R Us in the battle days during Beanie Babies and Tickle Me Elmo and all this, that, and the other thing. And at the very least of the Pokemon cards, you can play Pokemon card, we can play the Pokemon trading card game with Pokemon cards. So the thought I had when all this started was, oh, well, as a nuisance now, it's probably going to have some really interesting effects on the meta after the um, this all blows over and the bubble pops and that sort of thing, and all these people try to unload their Pokemon cards. But the people, but like, it was never really spilling over to game stores and that sort of thing. So the serious players, it's going to be less of a big thing about it. Um, it would have some impact. It would have some impact for the casuals for the casual players. But I was still seeing Pokemon cards in store shelves and grocery stores and that sort of thing. So I thought it was okay because when you're a, like thinking back to when I was very casually playing Magic in middle school, high school and a degree of and degree when I was in college. I I've never really played like serious Magic. Um I've paid attention to it and read blog posts and looked at the spoilers for upcoming cards and watched the loading ready run um, pre pre releases and that sort of thing. I mean, I, I'm a, I guess you'd call me, I'm not a, a semi serious or a casually serious or seriously casual, however you want to put it um, player of like magic, the gathering. Um, but if I want to get into magic, I have a game store. I go, I go to for my role playing game books and all that other stuff. I can just go there for like boosters and that's and singletons and that sort of thing as I need them. Uh, if I decide I want to start playing Friday Night Magic or what have you, but I do remember, because even in college I was buying more boosters from my local game store than I was from um, miscellaneous other places. But when I was in middle school and to a degree high school, particularly when I didn't have a car, and so. I was less mobile and more less easily able to go over to the next town to buy boosters or what have you um, from the game store. I would take advantage of booster packs being sold at for, for Magic at other locations, oftentimes at like convenience store, drug store, um, that sort of thing. Um, they sometimes be carried at Rite Aid or Walgreens or what have you. So. Uh, when, so I, I do have this, this sympathy for the kids who are playing the game, particularly Pokemon, because as much as there are plenty of adults who are into Pokemon right now, who are serious about the Pokemon Go 
or do Pokemon trading or that sort of thing. Ideally, like the target core demographic for Pokemon at this point is kids and their parents. And so for the kids who are playing casually with their friends in their neighborhood or as things are opening back up at school, you you where you get your cards for your deck often at this age range tends to be more where you go more often. And if your par if you don't have a game store available within nearby walking distance or uh, between times when you can get your parents to drive you to the game store because you ain't old enough to drive yet, you go, you get them, get your cards where you can. Often that means Walgreens, your Target, your Fred Myers, your what have you, or Kroger if you're in the other areas where they don't have Fred Myers. Um, so in the case of all of that, at the start of all this hysteria and the speculation over Pokemon cards, my just thought was, that's annoying. But it's not necessarily going to have a significant impact, significant negative impact on the casual Pokemon market. Certainly not going to impact the semi-serious players, um, because we were. I from everything I've seen about people talking about the friendly local gaming stores, you didn't hear about people blitzing in, buying up all the Pokemon cards, buying up all the singles, and that sort of thing. You do their really silly influencer crap on um, TikTok or what have you. And then the fight started, and we, and things happened, and cards started getting taken out in Target, and Freddy's, and various other places, and I'm I'm, I gotta say something. I'm, I realize I am the most unfluence, uninfluencery influencer. I'm an unfluencer. I'm not an influencer. I'm an unfluencer. Um, but still, I feel like I gotta say something. Because this has gotta stop. And I don't just mean this in the... In the, we're, we're, you're having fights over cards thing. Um, but like, it was stupid when people fought in the aisles over in Beanie Babies back when I was in middle school and high school, or middle school. It was stupid when they were fighting over Tickle Me Elmo. It was stupid when they were fighting over Tamagotchis. It was stupid when they were fighting over Darth Maul action figures when episode one came out. This, this is not a new thing that is happening. To be clear, but it is stupid when adults are fighting over things that they are having a speculative speculator boom over in order, um, where there's a speculator boom to get where they think this thing is going to be worth a lot of money. When due to the nature of the bubble that is formed around it, it's not, not in the long term, not at all. And... It and doing it over things that are meant to bring joy to younger people, to bring joy to kids, the middle schooler, people who are by comparison to me in my 30s are kids, uh, middle schoolers, teenagers, that sort of thing. Let younger people have things that, that are fun, is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, because it's some of these people are possibly my generation. Um, I will admit that. And if it is like we sh we should know better. We were kids when we saw the Beanie Baby thing happen. We should see this coming. It's not like any of these Magic the Gathering cards. Also, it's also because it's new expansions too. It's not like Backstock. It's not like people 
buying it's other people thinking oh this particular charmander is going to be from like the early wizards of the coast expansions of magic of uh, pokemon is going to be the black lotus the might stone um maybe not might stone but the, the black lotus of pokemon it or the dish or the uh, unsummon I know though it it is enchantment disenchant or unsummon or um what ha counterspell the counterspell or what have you of Pokemon that it is the card that is do that that is valuable and will make tons of money for decades to come. That ain't gonna happen for these necessarily these new cards because Here's the thing about like all those Magic the Gathering cards that still have tons of money value now. One, they're really good at what they do. Black Lotus costs no mana to play, sacrifice it, and you get four mana. That's something for nothing. That's a... I mean, yeah, you got sack card, but the point is, is that's um, from a gameplay mechanic turn. That's a that is a creature that you'd have to wait four more turns to play. You can bring out now, or combinations of cards that would take four more turns worth of mana to put together. You can do right now, and when you're playing, that's a big deal. But like I said, you get to pick the color. It's not oh for colorless. It's for whatever. Um. And that's and that plus the fact that Wizards of the Coast decided, now nah, we're not going to print this anymore because this card's broken. Um, we're just kind of not going to really reprint the Power Nine. We will have cards that will reference the Power Nine. There is one like Commander coming out that gives you some of the impacts of the Power Nine to an extent um, in your game. But doesn't actually have the power. Like, yeah, it, it's not like truly the same impact to uh, to play those power nine, so to speak. Um, it's it's kind of it's stupid, and it's frustrating. Not because I play Pokemon. I don't say have a dog in that, have a horse in that race. But, like, I remember playing Magic the Gathering with my friends after school as a kid. And it would be stupid and hypocritical and generally jackassery of me to deride kids today who want to have that experience it is wrong for me to, it, not, not just it's hip not just it's jackass it would be it's wrong and when i see people who should know better people who are old enough to know better not just in the sense of like in multiple senses of the term in terms of recognizing oh this is not the first craze like this in the past, and it won't be the last. Maybe fighting somebody over this, over Pokemon cards, which at best, if I get any, if you get any financial gain over this at all, it's going to be very short term. It's like you got to flip that immediately. Um, because a year down the road, it's going to be something else. And again, what'll be happening is all those booster packs and loose cards or whatever be going out to game stores or getting sold on sold on eBay in giant bulk packs for twenty bucks for five hundred cards or what have you. Um It'll muck with the meta, but people will still be able to play the game. Which is good, and that's fine then. But now, 
for the kick. Like for kids who are trying who want to play the game now with their friends after school, but particularly as the vaccines get opened up for kids, so they can get their shots, they can get vaccinated, and they can get to see face to face the friends they haven't seen in over a year as of this recording. Man, that's a dick move. And you're a dick for doing that. You're a dick for assaulting somebody in a store over a stupid internet bubble, financial bubble, that was going to go away. It's going to go away faster than the stock bubble over GameStop. And you're a dick because in response to people to people like you, stores are stopping selling booster packs or card like for cards, games in general, as well as other collectible cards, baseball cards, basketball cards, that sort of thing. So If, so if you're the kid who's like, oh, this crazy crap happening over Pokemon, that's okay, I play Yu-Gi-Oh, you're out of luck. Or if you play Magic, if or what have you, you're out of luck. Until this all blows, op blows over, and even then, I can see a significant restore saying, it's just not worth the hassle. Which sucks for these kids. So I'm not going to tell you grow up because clearly growing up doesn't stop people from doing this nonsense. I will say I don't tend to swear often in my videos, but I, I try, but in any case, knock this shit off. That's all I got to say. rant more or less over next week we will return to my regularly scheduled actual review content as opposed to this but this is something that i really needed to say and not just in a blog post at a social media in a in a big tumblr post or anything like that this is something i needed to verbally say out loud <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks. Also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. <laughs>